Hello, and welcome to Switchbox Basics. I would like to welcome you to our Switchbox family and let you know how excited we are to be a part of your business communications. We want to make sure that you feel comfortable using the key features and applications inside Switchbox that can help you to be more productive and communicate in ways you never could before. Over the next several weeks, you will receive a series of short videos giving you a basic overview of certain important features and applications inside Switchbox that can truly change the way you communicate. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by giving you an overview of what tools you have access to as a Switchbox user and show you the basics of how to use your new desk phone. Switchbox is organized into five major sections. The administration portal, where your IT staff will manage your new system. The user portal, where you will have access to manage some user features on your own, like creating your own conference room, changing which of your devices ring when calls come in, and much more. The switchboard, which is our web-based productivity tool, allowing you to control calls and get a bird's eye view into your company's communications. The Switchbox soft phone for iOS and Android Android, which can give you complete call control and allow you to manage your extension from your smartphone. And finally, your Digium IP phone, which will bring you more options to your desk phone than you've ever had before. Since there is so much that Switchbox can do, it can be very overwhelming to learn everything at once. The Switchbox basic videos will show you how to use a few features that people use the most to help you get started quickly. For most people, it's most important that they learn how to use their new desk phone. Let's show you how to make and receive a call, place a call on hold, transfer, and access your voicemail using your new Digium phone. Making a call with your Digium phone is simple, and there are several ways to place a call. You can enter the extension or phone number you wish to call first and press either the dial soft key or select a line key. Your call will be placed using the speakerphone for audio. You can also enter digits and then lift the handset. The call will be placed using the handset for audio. Also, you can lift the handset first and you will receive dial tone from the phone. Now key in your digits to place the call. Pressing a rapid dial key will instantly place a call to that contact. It is also easy to place calls from the contacts application. Select the contacts app with the soft key to access your contacts. Filter your search and select dial. While a call is active, you can alternate between using the handset, headset, or the speakerphone and your call will remain connected. While using the headset or speakerphone, pressing the active key will end the call. Likewise, if the handset is active for your connected call, placing it in the cradle will end the call. When you receive an incoming call, the ringtone will play and the line key will flash. You can answer the call by lifting the handset. Optionally, you can select answer or press the line key to answer the call using speakerphone. While an incoming call is ringing, you can also press ignore to send the call to voicemail. Transfer will let you transfer the call to another party without answering and send voicemail will send the call directly to voicemail regardless of your call rules. To place an active call on hold, press the hold feature key. The display will show the call as held. To resume the call, press the resume soft key. If you are on a call and another call comes in, you will hear a call waiting tone. The line key will flash and the second call will appear on your display. To answer the call, press the line key. The original call will be placed on hold. You can navigate between multiple calls using the arrow keys. Select resume to speak to that party or end call to hang up. To transfer an active call, press the transfer feature key. This will place your current call on hold, allowing you to place another call. You can do so by entering digits or from the contacts application. You then have three options for call transfer. Pressing the transfer soft key will immediately send the call to the third party. This is often referred to as a blind transfer. 
Pressing the dial soft key keeps your original call on hold while a new call is placed to the third party. When they answer, you can speak to them about the call you'd like to transfer. Then press the transfer soft key to send the call to their phone. This type of transfer is often referred to as an assisted transfer. Finally, you can transfer the call directly to the voicemail box of another SwitchFox user. To do so, press the transfer voicemail soft key. Note that this option is only available when using the contacts app to transfer calls. Gone are the days of dialing into your voicemail and waiting through all of your old voicemails to get to the one that you really want. Digium phones have a visual voicemail app that delivers visibility into your voicemail similar to what you're used to with your smartphone. If you have a new voicemail message, the red message indicator light will blink. To access the voicemail app, press the voicemail feature key. Here you will see a list of new and old messages. Scroll to find the message you want to hear and hit play. When the voicemail is playing, you can rewind, fast forward, and pause. To call this person back, press the call back soft key. To see the details of the call, press the details soft key. When you press more, you will have access to forward that message to another SwitchFox user, move it to a voicemail folder, or toggle it as read. That covers the basics of your Digium phone. Next time on SwitchFox Basics, we'll dive into a little deeper detail on some of the cool things your phone can do. Thank you for viewing and we'll see you next time.